What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another video. This should be kind of a short one. I'm actually recording just on my phone, not even on the camera, because I don't think it's gonna be that much of a long video. I kind of just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing here in the in the garage. Excuse me. I have my CRX parked in the garage right now. It's still giving me the uh, second gear slow shift that it was giving me with the old transmission. Uh, after talking to a couple people, to a couple people in the all-wheel drive B-series community, they're telling me that a lot of the reasoning behind it is something to do with the uh, shifting mechanism, like uh, the synchros and whatnot. Apparently, it's way too much load for the small fork. So there's two things that we're doing right now to actually try to fix this. A lot of you guys have heard of a company, Liberty Gears. If you haven't, essentially, it's a, a gear set company that not only do they modify some gears and make them work differently, but... Um, along a whole bunch of different uh, services that they do, one of the things is called face plating, which essentially you send them your gears and they delete the synchro part of it and make like big teeth, big teeth, a lot of big teeth or something uh, to like basically engage it almost like a dog box. So what we're doing right now, I have my spare transmission. Well, the one that came out of the CRX, I have it obviously with the gears still in the transmission. We are going to go ahead and remove first and second gear which uh, is first right there, second right there. And uh, mind you, like I said in other videos, I'm not a transmission guy. I don't know a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to this. So I'll be learning along the way with you guys on this. Uh, basically what I've been told to do so far is uh, take the nut off the top, make sure that if there's any shims or whatnot, put them correspondingly uh, in order in which I take them out. And then I'll either use a press or a gear puller to remove the gears from the actual stack. So uh, I'm just gonna go step by step with you guys. I'm not a, a transmission guy, I'm saying that once again. I'm not a transmission guy, but I will try my best right now. Oh, while I have it off, you guys can see the bracing that I did originally for this fork right there. There's definitely a lot more bracing that we can do. I spoke to a few people, they said uh, if I was gonna be doing the face plating just to re uh, or unbend the gear, not the gear, the fork. So if it's like slanted downwards a little bit, just make it straight again and try to brace it a little bit more. That would probably work since we're taking most of the load of the shifting off since we're going face plated for first and second gear. But what I decided to do is just order a brand new uh, fork from Honda. I got it for like $80 plus $7 shipping or something. Should be here in the next couple days. So we can actually brace it from like brand new and um, it'll be nice and straight. And then the extra bracing will help and whatnot. Speed Factory is releasing the front wheel drive to all wheel drive kit, which lets you use the uh, billet uh, adapter for it and whatnot. So it's like, I think a billet steel piece that makes the fork a lot stronger. You can also run front wheel drive gears with it. But uh, given that we're still doing the all wheel drive gears and we wanna make sure that we can make this work for somebody who doesn't wanna go with a different uh, kit or they wanna work on it now since they haven't released it yet, this is definitely gonna be another option that we wanna look forward to and uh, look into it, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna set the camera down, or my phone down in this case, and actually start uh, taking the nut off of the top of the gear stack and then seeing what I can remove step by step. All right, I don't have my tripod or anything. I'm just gonna be setting it over top of this little fuel tank right here, or the fuel uh, can where I used to get my M5 from. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is knock out this uh, indentation right there. I'm just gonna do it with a little flathead as well as a hammer. So this should be basically like the same when you put an axle on and you do the little indentation so the nut doesn't come off. And I'm not sure if this is super tight. Like I said, this is the first time that I'm doing it. So uh, I have this regular socket and my impact driver right here. We're gonna be removing it. If it needs to be impacted hard, we will uh, do that. And if it doesn't, then it should come out easy. But once we go to reassemble this, obviously I'll be looking at all these specifications and how to do it correctly and whatnot. But right now for tearing down, it shouldn't be as important. And we are still uh, be putting, gonna be putting the other gears into the other transmission we have. So this is basically for me just to practice on. I think it'll be a good transmission for me to learn on, you know? Let's see. Let's see if that's enough right there. There we go. So there's the nut, comes off. And there is a washer on the top. Here comes the bearing. There's one piece. There's the other piece. The 
this piece down. Okay, that's almost like pressed on. Maybe not the correct way to be taking it off. But there we go. I'm actually just gonna take the gear stacks out and I think I'm gonna take them over to the press. Alright, so since this isn't too much of a tutorial, I actually did it off of camera. It was a little uh, easier how I discovered to do it. I just used a little rubber mallet while holding the gears with my hand. Obviously, I started with the top ones. I would just uh, tap it like that, tap it down. So then the gears started coming off of the splines, which are right there, uh, starting with, I think, fifth and fourth, and then working its way down into third, second, and first. And now here we have, uh, I believe this is first gear. And if I'm not mistaken, the second gear along with the hub and slider. Now, I spoke to the people at Liberty. Um, they said that I didn't necessarily need to send the hub or the slider since they make them new for the face plating, if I'm not mistaken. But um, the person I spoke with was actually the front desk person. Uh, Terry, if I'm not mistaken, is the person who does all the Honda transmission face plated. He wasn't in today or on Friday, the last time I called. So I'm not only going to send first and second, I'm also going to send the slider and the hub for uh, that corresponding gear set, just in case I'm gonna use like one of those flat rate shipping boxes so it doesn't matter if it weighs a little bit more or nothing. Uh, I just want them to have it just in case since Terry wasn't there to uh, talk to me today on the phone. Uh, and since it is the first gear, if I'm not mistaken, this is what engages uh, reverse right there. So I just wanna make sure that it, it's if it's needed, perfect. If it's not needed, then whatever, they can just ship it back once I have the rest of the stuff. And, um, you know, simple stuff. Like I said, I already have the other fork on the way. I ordered one uh, brand new from Honda. I'm going to package this up right now at the post office and ship it out. They say it's like four to six weeks for uh, them to actually do all this, like the uh, face plating material or whatever, and then ship it back. I want the transmission back in the car running and whatnot in the next like eight weeks, if I'm not mistaken, because of Honda Day. I would really love to take that to Honda Day and do kind of like the last event for it. After that, I think I'll actually let go of the car and focus back on the Integra, but I would really love to have that with a faceplate of first and second for Honda Day. So I'm going to send uh, or package this all over right now, and I'm going to uh, get that sent out to Liberty, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I just pulled up here to the post office. I have a little sheet of paper written down with exactly what I need done to it, as well as my contact information. I'm just going to box it up real quick and get that shipped out. I got their address right there on this uh, envelope. I ended up using that instead of a box. Got a nice bubble wrap on each one. A little label as a tape since I didn't have any tape on there. There goes that. So those are those four, four pieces. I think I just needed two gears, but like I said, I'm sending the hub and the slider just in case. Uh, that's gonna go right in there, as well as my letter on what I need. And that should be good to ship in just a minute. Alrighty, we are leaving the post office. That is all boxed up and paid for. Ended up being $20 with change, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Uh, I could have used the flat rate box, which was $14. It was like $14.53 or something. Um, and it would have been cheaper to send since it is the flat rate. But I ended up uh, getting this one just because the box, the small size was way too small to fit all the gears. If I was sending two of the gears without this slub or hider, slider, it would have been decent, but I was way too small. And then the medium was just, it had too much room up top. So the gears would be banging around and I didn't have any like packaging material or anything to actually stuff the box with to make it um, make up for the space or anything. So we, uh, we ended up just using a little box or a little envelope that they sell there with um, bubble wrap already in the layers or whatever. And then uh, I also got some bubble wrap and I wrapped it up and whatnot and made it um, nice and cushy. That way, if it's thrown away or thrown around by accident, it won't damage the gear or it's less likely of damaging the gear. Everything is still a possibility, you know. So, uh, yeah, that should be there in two days, they said. So hopefully by the end of the week, they'll already have me in the system. And they say three or four to six weeks. A buddy of mine said that they did his in uh, three weeks. I've also heard that they do it sometimes in a week or two. You never know how it happens, you know, especially with uh, a company that does custom work. They basically weld that stuff onto your gears and it's not like they can just um, have 
a thousand of them in production and then just send them out to you as soon as you place an order you actually have to have your personal gears worked on so that might take a little bit i just really hope that i can get it back before honda day that's going to be basically the key factor in if i'm going to want to compete or not because there is the all-wheel drive class um and i'd like to at least make a couple passes not to compete like professionally or anything but it'd just be nice to finally go out to a honda day and race in one of the classes you know but uh, yeah, so I'm heading to work right now. Just got to st uh, stop by the bank, get some cash real quick for some stuff. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good afternoon. It's a Monday afternoon right now. Um, we shouldn't be too busy at work, so it might be a nice, easy day. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, let me know if you guys have had some experience with faceplating before. I, I haven't had one before but apparently it makes like shifting night and day difference i think there's a guy on the all-wheel drive page benjamin white that uh he actually has face plated first and second on a transmission all-wheel drive that he bought and um he said it works wor wonderfully he doesn't have any issues and uh, as soon as i get my all-wheel drive uh shift fork for it i'll be able to re-embrace the shift fork but a lot better this time a lot longer the little arms i think it'll be even better this time i'll um actually have the transmission open and then measure out exactly what I can and can't uh, brace, if, if that makes any sense, like the length that I can go for it. But, you know, anyways, I'm just rambling on right now. Hope you guys have a great afternoon. Keep on doing what you're doing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell. Peace.